Welcome to Electron Online. One more application for radicals or radical expressions is that typically we do not allow negative values inside the radical sign. We already saw that if we do have a negative value in there, we're trying to take the square root of a negative value, we come up with a, an imaginary number. But let's just say that imaginary numbers are not allowed. We can only have real numbers. So then we can see that if we have these type of radical expressions, there are certain values that the variable cannot be. Otherwise, we'll have a negative inside the radical. So if they tell us, find allowable values for x, we want to make sure that the radical, what's inside the radical, cannot be negative. In other words, in this case, we must make sure that x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Moving the negative 5 over to the other side, becoming positive, x must be greater than or equal to 5. So this is a necessary condition for this to have a real value answer. Here, the same thing. Here we have to make sure that 2x minus 7 is greater than or equal to 0. If it's not, we have an imaginary number. That means that 2x must be greater than or equal to 7, and then dividing both sides by 2, we can say that x must therefore be greater than or equal to 7 over 2, or 3.5. And those are the values that x must have for those two radical expressions not to be imaginary numbers. And that is how it's done.